good morning i am taruna rajora i welcome you all to the new session of our lecture series on money and banking in the last session we have done determinants of money supply in today's session we will do types of money supply so we move to the first slide money supply ka exogenous money supply it refers to the situation where the supply of money in the economy is determined by the bank's preferences for excess reserves and depositors preferences for holding cash and these preferences are not affected by the changes in economic variables like interest rate so if the interest rate changes exogenous money supply curve will be vertical so it is vertical and interest rate does not affect the money supply in case of exogenous okay we move to the next slide endogenous money supply it is upwards sloping as your interest rate rises money supply will increase when the excess reserve and currency to deposit ratio decreases as your interest rate rises the money supply curve is known as endogenous theek hai and the, the money supply is upward sloping function of interest rate higher interest rate leads to lower currency to deposit ratio and excess reserve ratio and it will lead to higher money multiplier and a greater quantity of money supply we move to the next slide shift in money supply so federal bank engages in open market purchases and sales and then give the impact on money supply so we first do the exogenous money supply curve here on uh, this axis we measure interest rate here we are measuring money supply so ms is our initial money supply curve when there is increase in money supply your monetary base will increase so money supply curve will shift to the right and when there is a decrease in money supply curve there will be decrease in when there is a decrease in monetary base there will be uh, decrease in money supply curve basically in case of purchases your money supply will increase there will be a rightward shift and when there is a sale or sale of securities there will be a leftward shift okay in case of endogenous also when there is a purchase of securities there will be a rightward shift your monetary base will increase your money supply will increase in the case uh, of sales it will shift to left your monetary base will decrease and uh, there will be a leftward shift in money supply curve ms to ms2 okay now we move to the next slide shift in exogenous supply okay so this is uh, interest rate this is money supply now we come to the ratios how these ratio will affect the money supply curve see when there is a increase in money supply there will be increase in monetary base okay so it will shift to right your money supply curve will shift to right okay when your currency money supply curve increases and curve shift to right when monetary base increases and your currency to deposit ratio excess reserve ratio and required reserve ratio decreases uh as i told you in the previous session that when your currency to deposit ratio declines your money supply will increase and when your money supply increases definitely it will shift to right so when these three ratio decreases and monetary base increases it will shift to right when these ratio increases and monetary base these ratios increases your money supply will decrease and your monetary base will also decrease okay so in the same way uh, money supply decreases and curve shift to left when monetary base decreases and cd ed and rr increases so in case of leftward shift these ratio will increase and monetary base will decrease now we move to the next slide shift in uh money money supply basically endogenous money supply okay so increase in monetary base when there is a increase in monetary base and decrease in required reserve ratio there will be rightward shift so uh, as i told you in the previous session when there is a decrease in uh, required reserve ratio there will be increase in money multiplier and your money supply will increase so you can see there is a rightward shift okay and when there is a decrease in monetary base and required reserve ratio increases there will be a leftward shift in money supply curve okay thank you